start trading. Passion. Persistence. Anticipation. I want to take a quick look at Forex Trendy. And what I'm looking at here is simply the uh, trend directions. I'm going to, um, I didn't set any special settings or anything like that. So whatever comes up, we're just going to be looking at here. Um, why this can really help you as a trader is it keeps you objective. It Anyone that's been trading for a while knows that if you don't have objective means of entering trades, exiting trades, picking direction, uh, anything with trading and being consistent at it, you're not going to find success. And consistency is going to come from discipline and being objective. Um, so it's really great, for example, if you're trading the Euro Aussie uh, four hour chart, for example, it has an uptrend. So for you as a trader, you're only going to look at taking uptrends. Now you can look at the price action, and we are um, obviously making higher highs, high and lows. We got a uh, bit of a range going on here. So could be some range plays here as well, right? And this, if you understand chart patterns, looking at this, we have a uh, consolidation pattern here. Look for a break to the upside. Yes, it could break to the downside, but this is where something else comes in handy. And I want to show you this. I'm a big fan of symmetry in the markets. Basically what that means is these pullbacks, let me just get a uh, pen here. These pullbacks here, all these kind of pullbacks, what they do is they show you what's a normal reaction in this market that does not break the uptrend. So for example, right now we've got trend drawdown 21.3%, so 240.2 pips. What that is telling you is that price could break out of here. It's a lousy line. Price can break out of here, drop down 240 pips, and still not break the uptrend. Why? because of this right here. This tells you this. It's showing you that the biggest drawdown so far has been 240 pips. Anything above that is normal. Anything right to this is normal. When it starts exceeding that, then you're gonna to wanna to be looking at uh, something different going on in the market. Looking at the five minute New Zealand dollar against the US dollar, again, if you're trading the five minute chart, which is not my preference trading uh, the spot market, that's for sure. We've got 13.8 pips is a natural move against the overall uptrend. So just because you see price pulling back and you don't want to be entering counter trend trades, to be quite honest with you, a lot of traders are counter trend traders. All you have to do is look at a um, depth of market, for example, in the futures market, and what you'll see is that this is a lousy box you'll see prices in here and then you'll see on the sell side limit orders looking to sell right and down below here you'll have buy limit orders looking to buy all right these could also actually be stop orders so if we're looking at the new zealand dollar for example people are actually going to have prices limit orders to sell the market and we're not even talking about people sitting on the sidelines waiting to see these kind of moves okay but what this can do is just keep you on the right side of this uptrend knowing that this is a natural evolution in this downtrend new and back again to the new zealand dollar now we're on the hourly chart so you can see that it uh changes Let's just take a quick look at some completed patterns. Just uh, for time, look at the daily charts. We had a triangle setting up in the Euro Japanese Yen daily chart. The buy signal is at 122.13. Well, you can see that price traded nicely up there. And if you are anyway into technical analysis, you will find that these are the zones, not so much the extremes, right? A lot of traders will trade the extremes, but that's not where a lot of the volume takes place. It takes place before that. At the ends of these are lower volume. And how can you tell? Because it came back down. Um, so look, this trade played out. And the targets on this, the high-end target. Let's see how we got. We got 
was it 25 125 let's say 21 126 so that would have given us at least uh the first target right here 124.08 and 126.59 is just up here somewhere but again you know we're going through a retracement and you still might be in this trade who knows right you've got the uh, the candle here that's uh right here on the side of the chart here that's still pretty uh even though it closed red it still looks uh the close of it's bullish and if you just draw a simple line right through here you'll see it's coming down through there you know like i said you don't always want to be looking at the extremes price will oftentimes bounce outside of those extremes so again it was a completed pattern on the euro japanese yen it worked out now we've got we've got silver i don't know if we trade that but let's just stick with forex new zealand dollar it was a sell signal from a triangle well look at they don't always work out right the sell signal on this was at uh 69.10 which is in this area right here it didn't really get much juice in your direction it fell down to 68.20 which didn't even make first target. All right. So again, it's not always going to work out regardless of what any marketers tell you. Uh, these things don't always work out. We've got some emerging patterns showing up. We have a Euro uh, Swiss franc four hour chart. And now if you look at this, we're looking at an overall uptrend. Looking at the pattern, you can see that we're tight consolidations. When these breaks, when these break, oftentimes they, uh, they do so with a lot of force. I just don't like when it trades too far into the apex here. Uh, so for this, you know, you'd be looking for upside, but again, you're not going to ignore the um, price action and what that tells you. Euro CAD, same thing. We have a Euro triangle stuck in the, uh, not a Euro triangle, we have a triangle and it's stuck in the middle of the range. So I just wanted to touch on a few things there quickly. Uh, combine the trends and the patterns this is actually a, so important to trading this here this is an expected drawdown which you should expect if you're looking to trade long trades in this pair on a four hour chart in this uptrend just because you'll see these big strong pullbacks it does not negate the uptrend okay and this will be the, um, the big plus of uh, of using this all right thanks for watching click below sign up become a member if you're ready to take action now, please click on the link below this video for more information.